Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Check out the link below, fool.com forward slash the smattering, to get access to the 10 best stocks to buy right now. It seems like recently a lot of investors are talking about CVR partners. Look at the dividend yield and it looks like it's 40%, which is kind of bonkers. But let's be honest, that's probably too good to be true. I'm Jason Hall. This is The Smattering. And I've got my resident expert on fertilizer. Read into that what you may. Tyler Crow is with me. And we're going to talk about CVR partners really briefly. And then we're going to talk about a couple of other stocks that might be a better fit for your portfolio, depending on exactly what you are looking for. Hey, Tyler, how's it going? I don't really know how I'm supposed to think about that intro. There's, there's another word for, for natural fertilizers that maybe you, uh, you wanted to use. Hey, hey how, how you choose to view that, I'm just going to, that's up to you. That's up to you. But no, this is an area, material, basic materials, natural resources. This is something that you are familiar with. So yes. let's talk about CVR Partners first. CVR Partners is a manufacturer of ammonia and ammonia nitrate, both of which are nitrogen fertilizers, also known as urea. But I'm going to guess that a lot of people are all of a sudden thinking about this. There's probably two reasons. Number one, there was the Icon Enterprises short report a while ago. So everyone's probably looking at all of the entities within the Icon Enterprise and CVR Partners is a subsidiary. The other reason people are looking at it is like you said at the top, 41% yield. How could anything possibly have a 41% yield? Well, when you have a variable rate dividend, which is something we've talked about with a few other companies lately, especially in the oil and gas space, every once in a while you hit a bumper run of the price of the commodity that you sell, and you're going to see yields like this pop up on occasion. I'm going to so share the on the screen here. You can see this is the dividend. It was buck 50 or so a share in 2020, 2021. And it's absolutely skyrocketed the past couple of years. This is what you're going to talk about. The special dividend that they're paying when they have these periods of excess cash flow generation. Right now, for a myriad of reasons, global food production, fertilizer production, fertilizer use, we've had this, I don't want to get into too many details, but Stocks in the U.S. are a little bit low. There's a war going on that's affected wheat. If you happen to be in the business of making fertilizer and you've got some spare fertilizer that's not under a contract to sell at a certain price, you're making a lot of money right now. That's exactly what's happening here. And with CVR Partners, they're not looking to grow pretty much ever. They've got their two facilities. They're going to keep them maintained and they're just going to run them for cash. And this is when you have bumper runs of, of your commodity that you're going to have moments like this. This is where people are probably going to look at this and start going, well, can this continue? The answer is probably not. If you look about 10 years ago, the returns that CVR partners, we're almost where we are today. And then we went through a prolonged period for six or seven or eight years where they had less than 5% returns on capital, dipped into negative returns on capital. And then we had this huge run up like you saw in the chart before. This is how it happens with this business. Anyone looking at this stock today shouldn't expect those returns in perpetuity at all. You might right. get a couple, you might get a couple quarters of it. If you're really lucky, you'll get a year and a half to two years of this. But anybody who reasonably expects anything like this to happen long-term, not a chance. This is kind of, you're looking at buying at the peak here, potentially. Yeah. And particularly if you're looking at the dividend, then then it's a substantial amount of risk that you're potentially taking on. Let's, let's do this, Tyler. I know that you own some companies in the fertilizer space, and also you're a big proponent of companies that pay dividends, and that's a pretty big portion of your portfolio. So I want you to share a couple of stocks. Number one, there's some people looking at CVR. Uh, partners that may be interested in owning companies that are in the fertilizer business. So share a fertilizer stock that you like. And after that, let's maybe talk about a, a dividend stock, maybe something on the higher yield end for people that are looking for that higher yield, but something they can depend on that's going to be able to support it for multiple years. Let's start with fertilizer. Sure. A particular fertilizer stock I own, and that's Nutrien, a Canadian company. They have some exposure to nitrogen fertilizers, but the bulk of their business is actually in potash. Potash is a little bit different than urea ammonia in that it's not manufactured, it's mined. It can go through longer periods of higher capital returns. Once you develop your resource, you've got a pretty set cost of-, of Exactly. And, and that's the, where it's beneficial versus yeah. the, the model where you're coming from a refining output. 
Yep. And the other aspect that is a little bit more encouraging, a little bit more stable over the long term is they also have considerable exposure to retail fertilizer. And because you have some retail exposure, you have versus purely farmers buying it at wholesale or things like that, you can you get a little bit of retail markup. It's a little bit more consistent business. I, I think because of that, I would look at nutrient. It's a little bit, like I said, it pays a consistent dividend. It's not the highest yield in the world. The Going dividend yields somewhere around two and a half percent at recent prices <laughs> as of this recording, but also it pay, does pay a variable dividend. So I think it's important to remember for investors to consider that as well. But again, the nutrient story, this is less about the dividend and more about like the long-term prospects for the business. If you're looking for a dividend yield that is high and actually something that's consistent that you can probably rely on for quite a few years in the future, I would try to push people towards enterprise products partners. Like CVR partners, it is a master limited partnership. So keep that in mind. What do you yes. like about enterprise products so partners? Enterprise products partners, um, natural gas liquids. It's a very, it's a very unique uh, niche in the market versus oil or natural gas. Natural gas liquids is where you get things like ethylene, propylene. A lot of your petrochemicals comes from the propane, feedstock. isobutane. If you flip, yep. you've got your Bic lighter, your gas grill yep. is probably propane. So those sorts yep. of things. That's the bulk of their business. And it's also management has been fantastic stewards of shareholder capital, even through the tough times of the, the 2010s dividend payments were made. They've, been very good at returns on capital, keeping managing a, a good balance sheet. And with the a, a bulk, uh, a good portion of the of the stock owned by the founder family, and with its yield right now, I think in right around 7.5, 7.4, that's a very attractive price for a quality business like Enterprise Products Partners that is likely going to be able to pay what they're paying for the foreseeable future.